you know, a while back, we played Escape Chasm, and I was like, if Escape Chasm is so good, why isn't there Escape Chasm 2? Oh. Oh, there is Escape Chasm 2. Well, let's play it. Escape Chasm 2. Oh, it was, it was this easy this whole time. Oh. No, but seriously. Um, we played Escape Chasm, a game by Temi Chang, who is the was the um, music artist for Undertale and has started making games on her own. And we played Escape Chasm a while back, and it was great! And Dweller's Empty Path is... She said it was part of the same series, but she couldn't call it... Um, she wouldn't call it uh, Escape Chasm 2 because of the joke game in Escape Chasm, which we just saw there. I didn't actually know about that originally. Um, that's cute. I'll have to put that in my guide, in fact. Uh, let me hide my- oh, I can't hide my mouse cursor. Whatever. This is Dweller's Empty Path. Let's just get right started. It, have, it has a Game Boy aspect ratio, specifically, I'll note. And the color scheme, obviously, it's pretty Game Boy. Dot dot dot! My head. This is a bit longer than Escape Chasm. It'll be a few episodes. One to two hours is what it said, so, um... I'll be splitting to 15 minute segments. Just like the old YouTube days. Back when you had to make 15 minute videos. All these voices and all these faces are flooding into my head. Who are they? Ah, uh, feels like my head's gonna burst open. And obviously, if you missed Escape Chasm, um, it's free slash name your own price, just like this game is on itch.io. There'll be a link in the description. Check out Escape Chasm first. If you prefer to listen to me play Escape Chasm, I have a full playthrough of that as well, um, showing all the endings and stuff. So. I have, this is a completely blind playthrough. I don't know how much it will depend upon the original, but strongly recommend you check that out first. It's even shorter, and it was really good. I really enjoyed Escape Chasm. Feels like my head's gonna burst open. Someone, make it stop. Also, I appreciate the pixel look, but actually having much higher resolution so the text is not eye painy. Um, I love pixel art, but pixel art fonts, it can be rough. So I appreciate the look of this. That is a game, that is the definitely, we're definitely going for the Game Boy aesthetic here, yes. Which unfortunately, the background is a little bit, hmm, but I can't really do too much about that. Even recording in 4.3, there's a little bit of letterboxiness, so whatever. That's me. I'm the bunny-eared demon thing. Another nightmare. I'm getting a lot of these lately. I like that it's just, it's just a bit of a pixel, so the, it's difficult to do pixel art fonts while looking good without having kind of a disconnect. The Shantae games tend to have like, you know, especially, what was it, Pirate's Curse? The, um, the one with the HD UI and text but with pixel art graphics. It looked a little weird. I think this is a good balance. You can see this blockiness in the text, but it's also nice, thick, and readable. I prefer to be able to read text. I don't know what this is. It looks like a creepy old man with a balding spot, like watching me in my sleep. I think it's a lamp. I'm pretty sure that's a lamp and that's a lampshade, but it looks like an old man wearing like a wife beater and like just watching me in the corner. I don't like that one bit. The feeling he's behind one of this one again. <gasps> he! Him! Don't think I can fall asleep after that. Well, no use lying around in bed. I know that feel. That is a scarf. That's us! Guess I'll go for a walk to clear my mind for a bit. Pfft. Now that is, that, that is Game Boy animation right there. And that's Game Boy music too. I think we're the demon bunny from the previous thing. It is a lamp, okay. Okay, Ga game theory canceled. It's a lamp. Oh, I forgot about these apples I left here. They still seem good. I'll eat one later though. You fool, it'll be bad by the time you eat it. I do that all the time. Oh, I'm gonna get some fresh fruit. Oh, I forgot to eat the fresh fruit. Oh, it's bad now. It's bright and sunny out. My garbage can, I should empty it out soon. It's starting to smell. There's a crumpled up note in here that says, Hold shift to move faster. What is shift? Oh yes, gotta go fast! Can I just... Can we just... 
have that always be on though? <laughs> this was the thing in the original. Always dash was a, an option in the original game, and it, it doesn't do anything in the original game. So we can walk now. Maybe writing a journal will take my mind off things. Should I record stuff? Yes. So you can save now, which I don't believe was a thing? I could be wrong, but I don't think that was a thing. The original game was like 20 minutes to a half hour at most. I don't need to change my clothes. What I'm writing right now seems fine. It's not even much variety anyway. I should make us some clothes. Why did you make this game about me, Temmie? I'm just- I'm just asking questions. Sleep- trouble sleeping and just decides, you know what, I'm already awake. The apple thing, the clothes, come on. Why'd you make a game about me? I'm flattered, but... The sun's out, it's too bright to turn the- oh, yeah. Turn up the lamp again. It's bright and sunny out. Witch! Claire's spare broom. I can't use it to fly, though. I just clean with it. I was right, my brother is a- or sister is a witch. My old journal, filled with the pages, so I have a new one now in my room. I'm too embarrassed to read my old journal entries. Spare broomstick. Spare wardrobe. Some male clothes, players old outfits mixed in there. <laughs> I guess still have a guess, but I was wondering why we like... I don't know why Claire doesn't use this bed. This room was supposed to be for her, but she just sleeps on the couch downstairs. <laughs> She's like a cat. A photo of... Bad memories, perhaps? Interesting, a photo of... dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, I love the little floorboards peeling up graphic there. Need to hammer that down. <laughs> I like how the door sounds. It sounds like I'm like breaking through a wall. The living room couch, aka Claire's bed. We should just use the guest room upstairs. I'm pretty guilty of falling asleep on it too, though. The stove. So many unpleasant memories involving this thing. Oh no! The fridge is pretty empty. I should do some shopping in the village soon. I should cook this fish soon. <laughs> There's a fish on the cutting board. You should probably do something with that. Always good to wash your hands before you prepare food. True that. There's a witch in my basement. Claire's broom. Why does she have so many brooms around the house? Wanted. <laughs> I like that picture of me, so I decided to keep that one. Thanks, Claire. Look at that booty wiggle, though. Lots of spell books and such. Some of these are in languages I've never seen before. Claire's really smart. Clint Mossy Pan, you're so smart. Looks like a lot of the ingredients for formulas and rituals. A little torn up notes and formulas, it seems. With some failed experiments and empty vials. Hey, hey, that's my journal. Don't go looking through that stuff without my permission. I don't go looking through your stuff without your permission. I'm pretty sure you do. Well, maybe. But don't look through mine. My stuff is cursed. You'll be haunted. By who? By me, of course. You're right. Wouldn't want that. Organic ingredients. Ew! Yo! Good morning, Yoki. Well, we have a name. It's Yoki. Aren't you awake kind of early? Good morning, Claire. Pretty early, huh? I've been sleeping that well lately. Mm, yeah. You don't look great these days. Maybe was it another nightmare? Yeah. I think a lot of them recently. I can't remember the last time I got a good full night's rest. It was especially draining. I feel beyond exhausted. Mm. This game is really about me. I don't have a like witch sister living in my basement, but aside from that. Like, I even got pretty crappy sleep, to, like, last night. Well, this week, honestly. So I slept extra today to make up for it. Sleep debt is a weird thing, because if you sleep extra long, you don't feel extra refreshed. But if you do miss a lot of sleep through the week, you do have a sleep debt, and you will just need more sleep, and you don't feel better after it. But long term, it does it does seem to help, so it's weird. Look, look read up on that sleep debt. It's real. You know. I'm thinking. Yeah, I can tell. It's probably his doing again. You know. Zara. Yeah. Saw him outside next to the house after all. Ugh, he's still there? So you saw him too early, huh? Those nightmares feel more aggressive lately. What if he's mad at me? Man, what's with that guy? Why is he so fixated on you? I think he's got a crush. I don't think it's that. Well, whatever it is, seriously, be careful around him. If I could get rid of him myself, I totally would. I put up so many spell barriers around the house. And he just comes in and breaks them like it was nothing. Don't worry about me. 
Never came down to it. I never tried anything. I can take care of myself. I'm not scared of him. Ooh, you're so cool. After all, it's not like he's ever tricked you or roped you into his schemes before. So we got a history with this guy. Hey, if you're heading out again, think you can pick up my order for the doctor's place in Castletown? Sure thing, heading that way. You gotta love the Game Boy animation of just like shuffle left and right. Uh, very often this was done, by the way. You can actually notice it with my rear sprite. Um, and Goombas did this in the, in the NES Mario. It's not actually a separate animation. It's just rota It's just flipping the sprite left and right. You can see it on uh, actually back, you know, back and forth on my sprite. So it's just one graphic, back and forth. So that's why um, ROM hacks that kind of change the Goombas on NES Mario they tend to look weird. So if you're not clear, then who are you? Oh, oh, that's Zara. Okay, Zara. Zara is the guy that we saw last time. I. I remember seeing Bunny, but I thought we saw a demon dude. That's, yeah, that's him. You don't look so happy to see me. Never happy to see you. Oh. So mean. So what is it? Why are you here? I'm just dropping by to visit my favorite forest resident. And what else? That's all. I don't buy that for a second. You planned that nightmare I had in my head last night, right? That's screwed up. Ugh. I have enough stalkers that I'm really glad that's not a real thing you can do. <laughs> I know people would be like that. Don't give me the silent treatment. You want me to be useful with your plants and such, right? Also, my, my stalkers are fortunately online stalkers, which still sucks, but the, the physical distance really does help. I'd really be used to you. This is really good, the, um... The Game Boy sound chip is not famous for good music, but this kind of has a this definitely has a Game Boy vibe with um, actually sounding good. I mean, you could make good music on Game Boy. The Pokemon games tended to be really good. Um, the Mario music was okay on on Game Boy. A lot of games was kind of crusty. I don't think this is actual Game Boy. I think this is kind of. You know, it's trying to give the vibe of that, but I don't think this is actual Game Boy limitations. Like, there was like... <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but Game Boy was very limited, that's all I'm trying to say here. Would I really be of any use to you when I'm this fatigued? What's the point of doing this? It's my way of showing I care for you. Maybe you should care a little less. Nerd. Big ol' turnips! Look at those, um... Harvest Moon looking ass turnips. Some vegetables me and Claire have been growing. Oh no, I want the mushroom. Give me the shroom. Oh, it's just a mess. What the hell is that? What is that? I don't like that. Oh, it's you! I've known you since you were little. I've been watching you over the years. You've grown so much. It looks so much more tasty. I don't think I remember you. I don't recall you ever wanting to meet me, though. Oh, you're a peaceful beast type. I am peaceful. I want anything that's alive. I only eat what's already dead. Ah, so you're a scavenger. Thanks. That's passive of war. I've been waiting for you to die ever since I laid my eyes on you. I can't wait for that day. Don't look so enthusiastic. The man who visits you, he also looks so tasty. Can we not have Vor Angel Creature here? She's talking about Zara. Oh right, there's a run. Can I can I just always run? Why why not always run though? It's kinda of funny there was an always dash option in the first game. And it didn't do anything. Now there is a dash function. Chirp! Chirp chirp. Are you feeling lost? Confused? I'm here to help. Would you like a hint? No. Our well. I don't really need any water right now. This places to go here. Mr. Fox! There he is! Yeah, definitely I'm getting some Pokemon vibes from that fox too. Lots of use of the um, shifting back and forth animations. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Have a good day. God bless. What's this like spookums? Oh, there's a. Oh, deer! 
won't let me through. This bu this butterfly is blocking my path. Okay. They won't let me through. It's just like Mother uh, 3. There are ants blocking your path. You feel it would be bad to walk over them. That's a real thing, by the way, in Mother 3. There's just ants, and you just gotta wait. You gotta do story stuff. I hope this is the right way to go. Huh. Raccoons, I guess? What a peaceful little forest. I'm sure it won't stay that way. <laughs> okay, so there's actual, like, whoa. Spooky witch's tree. There's a letter attached to this tree. I can't read this at all. What language is this? Put it back, I guess. It was letter before it's deep in the forest. <laughs> I love these super steep. Super steep. It's like a letter, a level beyond steep. These steep cliffs in like old NES games, just like a sheer drop. I don't like the animals that just stare at me and go dot dot dot. Grr, he looks hungry. There's a bit of a world to this one. Ooh, a spooky cave. Let's go in the spooky cave. Oh, there's two spooky caves. <laughs> yeah, these are some of the noises that Game Boy can make. That crunchy one? That crunchy one was definitely a popular one in Game Boy music. It's a Moogle! What's a Moogle doing here? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a Poogle. It's a pig Moogle. Let me go in- oh. <laughs> I, when I said Poogle, my phone brought up the Google Assistant. I don't need you. Okay, Poogle. Glasses! Oh. Snack. Are those those wolf girl's glasses? Why doesn't she wear them? She always runs into trees and walls. <laughs> Aww. Hello. Please don't vore me. Looks like he's eaten recently. All well, the beast types I've seen. Serpent is the most docile and friendly. It's the opposite of the other beast types that live within this cave. You didn't eat Wolf Girl, did you? There's like sticks in here. Spooky. Well, I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go, but um, there's obviously a lot more to this game than Escape Chasm. Um, I did like the conciseness of Escape Chasm. It was cool. But I will... Um, we will explore more later, and I will find where we actually need to go. Oh. oh, hold up. There's the wolf girl. She's just taking a sleep on the floor here. Oh good, she's asleep. I don't feel like dealing with her right now. Well, really, I never do. Maybe she'll just sleep forever. There's no animated cutscenes in this game, by the way, but it said there was, like... Gosh, there was a lot of um, individual graphics. Uh, like a... 100? Yeah, over 100 illustrations I made for this, so there's a lot of... There's a lot of art and a lot of work put into this. Let's just sleep forever. Z, 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 Y. Yoki. Just don't fondle me in my sleep or something. Or in your sleep, rather. She dreamed about me? I'll eat you yet. Why does everything want to... <laughs> Why does everything want to eat me? I'm just here. Just you wait. I hate these things. Why, why? Why does everything want to eat me? I just want to do things and be alive. Why? Whatever. This is Sammy Chang's new game. Um, the, the, the Dweller... Dweller's Empty Path. Oh, you can click! You can click to walk to places. Um, but yes, we will definitely continue this. We'll play the whole game. I don't know if there's multiple endings like before. If, it, if there is, I'll try my best to get all of them. But um, next time, we'll figure out where we need to go, because we're just kind of lost at the moment. So, remember to like and subscribe, and to make sure you get uh, future episodes, click that stupid little bell icon. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the game.